Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Rams Franchise. We are back. It is week six. A devastating loss on my part. Smile. But a devastating loss last week to the Cowboys. This week, we have another tough battle here. And I've seen your comments going, man, it is time to make a move at quarterback. And I'm kind of leaning towards just making you with the internet happy. Tyler Huntley on the season, at least for me, right? You got to keep in mind, I'm the one controlling him. Has not been that damn bad. Uh, seven touchdowns, six interceptions, 1,100 yards so far to show. But we're not really rolling out with him at all. And you guys have noticed that. I haven't been able to roll out successfully with him a little bit. And maybe i'm always wondering if some of the throws that i throw that are tight windows and i i throw picks i always wonder if maybe the throw power might be something that's holding me back maybe i could zip the ball in there quicker i have no idea keep in mind i'm a filthy casual but you guys want me to move on from tyler huntley and i'm starting to kind of think maybe i will the problem is is this draft class now of course i could never see this coming right we had a plan that we were going to go into this year and go get a quarterback and so far, there's only one that looks to be decent at all, even with us on scout, like not having a bunch of scouted stuff going on. I mean, you got a top five projection and Nathan Redman, and then it's Dimitri McCullers. It's Connor Cruz, who's a day three guy, round three, four. So there's not really any quarterbacks that are like jumping off the page. And it makes it really tough to where we're either hoping that Nathan Redman is the guy we draft, which means A, we gotta have a high enough first round pick. And you never know with the way mock drafts are and people need quarterbacks, we might, it, it, we even if we had the fourth pick, I mean, we could lose out on the one quarterback. That's worth a shit. So there's that issue. This draft class in general, there are some things I like. I like, we do need to find some more offensive line help. Even if I don't get this top five projection in Lloyd McClain, Russ Martin, looks interesting six five three twelve at a boston college a awareness is what we already know and i'm seeing a lot of potentially elite things strength is nice to see speed is good to great jumping good to great change of direction great to elite agility great to elite and acceleration good to great the skills i like seeing lead block and run block finesse already at a's awareness is an a run block power not that great but i don't know i feel like that might be an interesting piece and again this is un insinuating that we don't get Lloyd McClain, uh, who is projected to go top five. The strength solid to good kind of scares me. But as you can see on that left side right there, that dude has a ton of potentially elite things. Lloyd McClain is most likely going to be gross. Uh, run block power is non-existent at D. Uh, I'm sorry, run pass block power is D. Run block power is C. I don't, that scares me. Of course, his awareness, I think awareness controls overall from what I remember. He could end up being, you know, nasty too if he had a, I don't know. Athletically, they look good. But it, but so it comes down to what are we going to draft? What does our team need? All that stuff. I wouldn't mind grabbing another wide receiver even. We already have Cooper Cup, who I know is getting old. And some of you are like, oh, you got to think about Madden. Listen, Cooper Cup will retire a Ram unless we just really super duper suck, which could, that, that could be a thing. But like, I'm fine with him being older and regressing a little bit. He's still gross. Cooper Cup can stay. We also have Puka Nakua, who's exploded a little bit and is young. And then we do have Chase Claypool, who I don't really think will stay here more than just this season. But Nathan Mitchell, the six foot four wide receiver on a Texas A&M. We don't know much about him, but we do know that he could have potentially elite strength jumping and he could have good to great speed followed by solid good agility i mean I, there's some stuff you like here uh a spectacular catch c short route do with that information what you will larry lowry out of auburn is six foot one he's got b deep route we do know that his strength to be solid good good great speed great elite change of direction and great elite acceleration with good great agility looks like he could be quite the athlete b short route a medium route so he does run his routes nice too and he could be fast something to think about uh with larry but uh, this is a projected one to two i don't necessarily need a top i don't know a, a top pick for this i feel like we could kind of maybe look to not be as invested in this draft is that a is that a weird thing to say but back to the original thing is if we're not as invested in this draft and we're not gonna go and try to make sure we're like potentially the first overall pick with nathan redmond 
at quarterback, what are we going to do? And to be honest, it's a fair question because we do have a young tight end that we believe in. Athletically, he's very nice. We have some pieces that look very good on our offensive line, some young pieces. Obviously, if we end up going and getting that left tackle that we were talking about in the first round, we would have a pretty young, great offensive line moving forward. None of these pieces are entirely old besides uh, good old Rob over here. We could always use another wide receiver, as we talked about, as Chase Claypool is kind of a one-year filler. We're still trying to develop Puka Nakua to make him star dev so we could go running back it didn't look like there was a ton of options though i know i didn't really show that there but trust me on that the other thing we need on defense is technically we're fine everywhere but i would say defensive end and free safety uh we do need to improve free safety wise and we do need to think about if we're extending aaron donald which i think we are okay a that b how long is he gonna be here he's 33 years old is he gonna retire Sure, he's still a 99, but he's 33 again. That is old. So we got to keep that in mind. The other thing is, do we want to maybe get somebody to, uh, you know, pair up with, uh, with him instead of Byron Young, who is playing to a 71 and he's 26. So we probably could go for a defensive end. My point being is with the way this draft class doesn't have necessarily the talent that we need jumping off the page is like, oh my gosh, this is potentially elite we could we could pivot our opinion or our our view to grab the offensive lineman see if we can find a nice little defensive end maybe a wide receiver in the second round third round um and go that route i mean hell i kind of think that's the move maybe look at free agency for a defensive end we have a ton of cap space and above my head there cap room 161 million is that cap space i was talking about now we got to bring back donald we got to bring back let's ah do we do it do we bring him back now do we go ahead and lock that in everybody kind of has enough interest ernest jones might be on the move Everybody has enough interest to come back, at least it seems. Benjamin St. Juice doesn't have a fucking uh, opinion is what he doesn't have because we just made him a star. So damn it, he's staying. You're staying, bitch. 2-2 Two -two Atwell, we haven't really developed at all. Uh, Shy Smith could go, I don't really care. Uh, Nathan Kent, meh, don't care. Bobby Brown the third. Uh, I'd like to keep his depth. I'm actually gonna go ahead and bring him. Ah, you know what, maybe I won't. I keep saying I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna, I keep waiting um rob is most likely gone that's another thing do we trade him now do we try to get something for him or do we package him in maybe we can go make a trade since we're not liking the draft class and since we don't want to be waiting till year four because right if there's nothing in this draft class we got to play through year three maybe that class is strong quarterback wise we go year four do we do that there's a lot of questions to ask do we go maybe get one of these young quarterbacks that are blocked now talked about a couple of the quarterbacks here that i think would be theoretically available justin fields was an option but the bears are doing relatively well so we're not going to poach him and they just extended him so we're going to leave justin fields a bear there you go now i've mentioned the eagles have Derek ferguson they drafted him he's a 22 year old quarterback with hidden dev he's a 70 overall but he's very obviously stuck behind jalen hurts who's 26 five years left uh, and here is his ratings here. Derek Ferguson, while he does have hidden dev, I feel like we're in the same boat that we were in with Huntley. He's fast. Have, have I been scrambling? No, not really. And honestly, I feel like I've been playing a little bit better since not committing to so many scrambles. Um, so I don't know if that necessarily matters to me. 89 throw power. It's two points better than uh, Huntley. But do we go that route? and try to hope that we can develop his accuracy and basically have Tyler Huntley 2.0, except for he's a ginger? I don't know. I was curious if any other teams took quarterbacks that are blocked. Now, hear me out on this one. Kirk Cousins is 36, okay? Very obviously, he's 36. The Vikings lead their division. They are playing to win the damn game. And Kirk Cousins is having a killer year. 13 touchdowns, four interceptions, 1,045 yards. He's playing pretty damn well, to be honest. And I noticed they still have the team need as quarterback, even though they just drafted Derek Wiggins, 22 years old, six foot six, this fucking giant is. Now he has hidden dev, so we don't know what he is per se. And it's not like he's going to be ready to go and exciting right out of the rip. He's a 72. Ratings wise though, I noticed that man's got 95 throw power. And I'm gonna tell you what, that right there intrigues me. Now, they might be saying they're still looking for quarterback help because they're like, I don't know, maybe they don't believe in Derek Wiggins. 
And here's the thing. I kind of want to take the gamble. Let's say he has star dev. 95 throw power is fine. And speed wise, he's not the slowest of turtles. 76 speed, 83 acceleration, 79 agility. Am I going to be able to break off and run for some insane stuff? No, but again, I'm not really running a ton as is. And if I get a quarterback, maybe you all will stop yelling at me. With the Vikings in contention, right? I almost wonder if we could pry away Wiggins and do something. Now, here's the other, the other issue we have. We do not have a ton of draft picks this year. We have a first, two thirds, two sixths, and a seventh. And we already said we do have things we want to get. Now, we also have cap space where we could go try to, you know, do some fun stuff in free agency next season. We could always go that route. But we have a first round pick that looks middle of the pack. And then we have two third round picks. Now, we have no first round pick in 2026. That's another issue. Because if we don't trade for a quarterback now, and we don't like the quarterback class that we already are in, and we miss out on the one effing dude that could be a good quarterback in this class, the fuck are we doing? So there's that issue. Now, it says that they need a QB. It says they need some offensive line help and uh, maybe a defensive and outside linebacker, something like that. I do have an out, I, I don't have an outside linebacker, but I have somebody who you could, you could fuck around and find out with in Ernest Jones. Now is Ernest Jones gonna be the piece that gets it going? Absolutely not. Let me show you how far away we are. Pretty damn far. But I do have some offensive line help that you might want. Rob could be the piece you need, okay? Now is he a guard? No, but you got other guys that have played tackle for you right now that have played guard in their college careers at time, I'm assuming, smile. And you could always move someone around. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. And for some of you guys that are thinking maybe he was drafted hella high last season, yeah, he was not. He was drafted in the 28th overall pick in the first round. So it's not like he was a top three starter. Again, though, I'm seeing the power, the throw power, and even if he has star dev, I mean, he's got hidden dev, so we know it's at least star. I think he's the move. Now, I'm willing to give up more. I'm willing to say, you know, hey, you want some draft picks while we're here? I, what about next year's third? Well, what about a third after that? You get offensive line help, two thirds and a, and a middle linebacker. You probably won't like this, but let's see. Shit. <laughs> Man, if we, if we did what they are suggesting here and only worked in draft picks, holy shit, we wouldn't have to really worry about a draft in the middle rounds for a damn minute. They want a ton of third round picks. And then they want, which by the way, the two third round picks for next season are our only third round picks. So we would go a first and then two six and that's it. I don't know if I wanna do that. I'm kind of down to include the 2026 third and even a 2027 third. I would need to find value to replace the third round picks, which I feel like we can do. So, okay. What if we did a 2027, uh, uh, 2027 second round pick, that sixth round pick. I wanna say there was a 2027 third. What if I included one third round pick and then I included a sixth next year just curious there's no way this works but i'm just curious okay we are kind of close though so now my question is is there any interest in the slightest for ernest jones there's a 24 year old middle linebacker we just we have these two rookies we drafted in Devonte zimmerman and ben orchard they're just great and i'll take landon collins being my 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 depth here i'm fine with that just curious just curious oh we're close Oh, we're dummy thick close. What if I gave up that tackle? You want def you want offensive line? He'll help you this year. You like the way I'm trying to rationale this? I'm like, well, it says they need a quarterback, so maybe they don't think Derek Wiggins is the guy they want to keep. And I'm like, well, you need offensive line. What about an offensive lineman that doesn't play guard? Smile. I don't know. I feel like giving up an eight. What is he playing up to? Is he an 80? He's an 82. He's playing up to an 84 right now with morale. I just want to see how far away I am. I gotta be far away. Yeah, we're pretty far. I almost wonder if I take away the damn third and I take away the sixth and put something else of value. I wonder if this, what does this give me? Okay, they're close. Two thirds a second in depth. Get rid of the sixth round pick. They want defensive ends. I don't really have the depth uh, to do that. We do have Kobe Turner though, who's under contract for three years and he's 25. I'm just curious, does this, this might get the needle moving. What would I be giving up? I'd be giving up an offensive lineman that's actually like solid, solid. 
I'd be giving up my best depth at middle linebacker. He's only 24 and he's a 77. I'd be giving up two thirds, a second, not next year, but the year after. I also feel like there's going to be one of two ways that the internet sees this, you, right? You're going to go, oh my God, this was robbery. One, one, again, maybe the Vikings are trying to do something. Shut the fuck up. You don't know. Or the reverse is that I don't realize how badly I'm fucking myself and you guys think I'm fucking myself. Oh man. The other thing is too, we could always try to move Rob for more second round picks too. <sighs> what if I took Rob out of here? What does that put me at? Not that far. Do I dare give up another second round pick? I think I do. The other thing I could always do is I could include Antoine Whitehead, who was a hidden dev outside linebacker we drafted. He's only a 65. He's playing down with morale. Again, he has hidden dev, but with Uchenna Nawusu coming back very soon, he's not going to be getting playing time. And again, with him being a 64, 65, I don't necessarily know what I'm missing if I get rid of him and they need outside linebacker help and he has the hidden dev stuff, I'd be giving them the, out, the outside linebacker they need, a middle linebacker that they could put an outside linebacker if they really wanted to. Fuck it, I have no idea. It's their team, I don't know, smile. A defensive end who's young, and by young I mean 25, so relatively young. A second and a third, a second next year, a third this year, and a third next year. I'm so curious. I want a quarterback. No. Damn. Okay, so I ended up trying to go get me another draft pick that I can then move. This is going to be a conundrum here. I'm fully committed to getting a new quarterback. Hello, I hope you're enjoying this because that's going to be the fucking video today. So I traded left tackle Rob Havenstein, Havenstein, whatever the shit his name is, and a six round pick, not this year, not next year, but the year after for a second round this year and a fourth round next year. Don't get too attached to the second round this year because I'm pretty sure that bitch is gone. So let's go see what we can do now. Now that I have a second round pick that's more appealing, I'm going to see what we can do here. I just realized I could actually, now that I have a second round pick, I could move both the third round picks that they have interest in and see if I can't try to just package more picks and Ernest Jones together. I don't think this will work, but what if? It didn't, okay. We're getting somewhere though. If I could keep the second round pick, move both third round picks, because if a second round pick, I could always try to move down, get a second, th like a later second and a third. You know what, I don't know, we can always do something. What if I give up a second round pick this year and a second round pick next, no, not next year, the year after. And then I'd still have my two thirds this year. I'd have my second next year. And then I'd have my first and third the year after. I mean, here's where we're at. If we're going to do a quarterback, it's either that or we're going to give big money to somebody who's already older. I don't, does this work? No. Okay. Okay. We've done it. I've traded. Okay. Either you're going to love this or you're going to hate this internet. We traded Ernest Jones, who's a scheme fit for them. They needed some outs or they need a linebacker help. Fuck it. There's Ernest Jones. Do you want to play him at outside linebacker? I don't know. Figure it out. Maybe he's your... Middle linebacker too, I have no idea. Uh, we trade a second round pick, not this year, not next year, the year after, okay? So we do have a first round that year. We traded both of our third round picks this year, so we ended up keeping the second round pick we got from the 49ers, and we traded a third round pick in 2027. But we got a quarterback of the future. They took him in the very, very end of the first round. I might have overpaid, if you think about it to a degree. I might have overpaid a little bit, I don't know. Maybe, uh, shh, fuck, I don't know. I mean, here's the here's what I'm thinking. We have the guarantee of the quarterback we want, okay? And he has 95 throw power, looks, looks to be solid, has hidden dev, and we don't have to worry about, oh shit, we're not in the top five, or even honestly right now, top 10, um, to go get the one quarterback in this draft class and then have to wait for another draft class. And then if, they, if, if, the, if the Vikings wanna go get a quarterback somewhere else or sign somebody, that's up to them. But I would think if, in my head, I'm like, you got, you got Kirk Cousins who, yes, he's old, but you still said you're looking for a quarterback with this young quarterback. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's the way I'm rationaling it. I give up three thirds a second for the 28th pick last year. And I give up 24 year old Ernest Jones who says 77. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Maybe I messed up, but there's our new quarterback. Some of you guys might be wondering why I didn't include Tyler Huntley in the deal because I'm fine with him being a backup. To be honest with you, Stetson Bennett might be on the road. 
All right, so with our two trades we made, Beecham Jr. ends up being our left tackle, which thank God for morale because he's playing up to a 76. He's probably absolutely stoked he's starting now, which I think will do well enough, at least for right now. So Beecham Jr. is going to get a shot here. 35 years old, this man is a fucking elder holy shit he's gonna be playing left tackle for us at least for the interim we do get uh, our good boy callaway back the rookie center who's playing hella up to an 80 dodson's good to go avila is good to go especially with morale uh jones is a rookie who we still don't know much about but he's playing up to a 76 the offensive line feels good enough as it is right now again i do kind of want to look at maybe taking a left tackle but again it's gonna see it's gonna be kind of where this draft falls for us uh wide receiver wise we still have cooper cup we still have buka nakua we do have chase claypool who now if we are going to commit to fully selling like we kind of already just sort of in a way did we might need to move him and try to recoup at least a draft pick back that'd be nice uh but Derek wiggins is the guy he's the quarterback that we're going to be using hidden dev we have no earthly idea what he is but ratings wise I mean, that man's got 95 pop. We're gonna be believing in him. See what we can do. This is our guy, I don't know. Let me know if you hate it. I mean, a lot of you have been commenting, begging for a new quarterback that's not Huntley. Now, granted, he's a 72, Huntley's a 74, so theoretically, he is worse than Huntley. But again, if he has if he has star dev and he's only 22, then he should be able to uh, surpass Huntley pretty quickly. So we can at least get him reps, get him in the practice stuff going and, and see what he is. But I think that's that's fine because the team honestly doesn't feel like it took that big of a hit. We have two rookie uh, middle linebackers that we very much enjoy. They're very nice. We've enjoyed them. Um, Uchenna Nwusu is going to be coming back. So he'll be, he'll be out for one more week. So he'll be back next week. So he'll be playing outside linebacker. And then we have a lot of money to bring in either stuff that we need or to re-sign guys. I think honestly, the team's in a good spot. And this takes away the pressure of us needing to make sure that we either get that top five pick or whatever for that one quarterback that we don't even necessarily know is going to be a great quarterback. He just was projected to be top five. We don't really know. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I feel like I made a mistake, but at the same time, I don't feel like I made a mistake. It's very odd. Like, I, like I'm like, ooh, new shiny uh, fucking Derek Wiggins. I'm excited. That'll be fun. But at the same time, I'm like, what have you done, you moron? You gave up so many picks. I don't know. I think this might be the move. Do good quarterbacks come out of South Carolina? I hope so. And if they don't, I hope they do today. This is either going to be the greatest decision I've ever made or the absolute worst. And I feel sick to my stomach. Anyway, let's 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 keep going. I am so that we have more depth on our offensive line. Going to sign Jalen Pleasant off the practice squad for the Bills. We're going to go ahead and fill that roster spot for him, sign him, and he will be a little bit of depth here. I don't expect him to be anything, though, but I do want to try to keep just as many bodies as possible. Plus, you never know. We might get in a situation where we're like, oh, shit, we need him. So we're going to do that for sure. All righty. I mean... It is what it is. Crisis in confidence. Let's go ahead and get our press conference out of the way. And we're going to be throwing this rookie right into the fire, too, if you think about it. Hey, coach, I haven't been as productive as I was hoping this year. Puka Nakua, you just had a 130-something yard game. I know because I missed the 150 mark. What the fuck do you mean? We're doing our best. Make a promise. I don't know, man. We're going to keep throwing the ball to you. Hopefully, I don't suck. You know, what, what can I tell you? You got a new quarterback. Good luck with that, champ. Good luck. Thanks, coach. I understand. Let's go. Keep your promise to Pukunaku and get him 100 receiving yards. All right. That should be pretty relatively simple. All right. We do play the 49ers and we have Brock Purdy. Look at him smiling and shit. He's a 77 and he's got star dev. I feel like we've done really well against him before, though. So we're going to keep usually what we do is protect the short pass, especially for these quarterbacks that are rated a little bit lower. So we're going to go with that. We're going to try to save ourselves from Nick Bosa because he scares me. He terrifies me. And I don't want him to be blitzing his ass off and messing up my new quarterback, okay? So we're going to uh, protect against that. And we're going to take... I'm going to take Ben Orchard off of his minigame focus player stuff. And we're going to put our new quarterback uh, in... Where is he? No. Derek Wiggins. There he is. I want to try to get him going. So we're going to do this. So Puka Nakua is going to come out here and do his wide receiver battle. We're still hoping that he gets a boost to star. And I feel like, honestly, the way he's been playing, I feel like if I get a gold medal, I i mean, maybe I'm being greedy here, but I feel like I should get an upgrade. Like, I feel like it's, he's due. He's been playing well. He's been getting open. He's been an integral part to our offense. And I feel like he's deserving of it. I don't think I'm going to get silver here. I think I have to redo this. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we cooked him. 
Maybe we cooked him? Oh, shit, shit, shit. I did that so early. Yeah, we gotta redo that. And there's gold, right? Yes, let's go, baby. We'll take that. Show me a dev trade upgrade, please. I've seen the comments were like, Dibu, I got one in week five. I got one in week seven. I get nothing in this world. Roman Pope. Now, some of you have said it's gonna be Raymond. There'd be a Y there, I think. Some of you would said it's been Roman, which I've been saying, and I think I just said, it's not Roman, it's Ramon. And some of you would said, oh, well, there'd be an E at the end of Ramon. You know what? What if I told you I talked to his mama and he said, fuck, and she said, it's named Ramon, okay? And that's his name. And you go, well, why didn't you include an E? And she said, because fuck the letter E. That's what she said, it's Ramon Pope. Put it in there, remember it, marry it, okay? I met somebody named Tyler one time and they spelled it T-Y-L-R. So sometimes you just gotta look at the letter E and say, bitch be gone because you don't want it. Here we go, Pope, I need you to get a dev trade upgrade. If I can get Pope to be silver, or it's not silver, star. If I can if I can get the young core to be good, we have money, we can be smart with it. I mean, we have to spend it all. I'm just saying we got a good shot, I think, even with, since we, even though we just gave up a lot of middle draft picks and some seconds, stuff like that, I get it. But like, I think we have a really good shot to like have a very deep, good team full of happiness. And somehow they'll be really good and I'll still throw picks because I'm fucking dog shit. Again, maybe I've made a mistake. Maybe you guys hate me now. I have no idea. I got gold, I don't give a shit. Let's ride Pope. Show me star dev. Please, please it's me. Thoughts? Nothing. Well, butter my ass and lick my taint. All right, Jermaine Hatcher. We still gotta figure out what the hell he is. He was our second round pick last year. And God, I'll tell you what, he does these drills so fucking ugly. Everybody else I do this with, I feel like is disgusting. Like the linebackers, I feel like they just get off people, throw them aside, they're just gross. But God, he does these drills so ugly. Like he, he moves like a fucking bus too. Throw him aside, come on, kill the quarterback. Hey Derek, uh, welcome to the team, buddy. You got fucking Hatcher coming in there and licking your anus. Hope you like that, buddy. Did you sign up for that? And then uh, that should be gold, let's go. Thank you, a little double clap there for good luck. No dev trade upgrade for him. Well, that sucks. Callaway, we need to figure out what he is. I'm gonna leave him to get his reps because if I'm not mistaken, I think even if I don't do the mini game, it still gives him reps and he gets focus XP, right? And he's just come back from injury. So I kind of want him to get that, I think is the move. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. You guys probably know more than I do. Let me know in the comments down below. But like, watch Zimmerman now. You just saw me do the trench battle with the other dude. Just throws it off, has quickness. Watch, bam, bam. Get off of me. Get off of me, bitch. I just feel like it's so much easier. It's so much cleaner with effing Devontae Zimmerman. And he ain't like, I mean, he's not that damn good. Like, we're looking at Hatcher, who's supposed to have perhaps superstar dev with that ability thing that popped up. But like, I mean, Zimmerman just cuts through people, just literally eats ass. There's gold. Show me a dev trade upgrade for him. I always confuse my two middle linebacker rookies. One of them is star, one of them is normal. I think Zimmerman's the normal one. Yeah, he is. That kind of sucks. And then Derek Wiggins, we get to use our new quarterback. We're gonna go target practicing. Haven't done this in a minute, so I can't wait to see how dog shit I am. But he does have the throw power. And so maybe we can get nasty. Maybe we can get cute. I have no idea. There's one, there's two. God, that felt creamy. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, maybe it's the placebo effect. I don't know. Maybe I just want to believe that it's creamy because, you know, I just traded some future for him. That's dope. All right, hold on. We're hitting the shit out of these receivers. And I feel like that ball coming out of here real quick. I don't tell you what. I don't tell you what, you son of a gun. Look at that. That's, that's delicious. Okay, we just have to believe. There's one. Catch the damn football. We should be gold. Let's go. Show me a dev trade upgrade here. I'm with it. That'd be sick if it was like star to superstar. Him being superstar would be huge. I don't think I'd be upset if I lost the draft picks in, in that scenario. We're gonna go two passing touchdowns. We've been doing that lately. I feel like that's been something we're able to do and we're gonna start the trading. So let's do that. Show me no injuries. We gotta play the 49ers. A we're not selling on this season. Just because we moved some pieces, we're two and three, we're still very much theoretically in it. Nobody hurt on defense. What about offense? 
What if my new quarterback died? Oh my God, Hunter Long had a back strain and I got I got really upset. I, but it's Hunter Long, we don't care about him. But like, I mean, if we beat the 49ers, we're right back in it for the first place in our division. And we have our quarterback that we're getting reps. And I don't know, I'm trying to rationale it in my head because I think I'm worried that you're all gonna be angry at me. Kobe Durant has an upgrade. Let's do it. We're gonna do slot on him. You guys want me to do slot on corners. I only got two upgrades. One awareness plus three man, though. That's kind of nice. Okay, Kobe. I like that. Ramon Pope. That's right. We don't like the letter E, bitch. We're going to do vertical threat on him. Try to make him a little bit better. Got a lot of upgrades. Holy shit. Deep route, juke move, pass block power, release, run block. All get one. Medium route gets two and short route gets plus three. That's a pretty big day for Mr. Pope. I like that. That gives me hope for the Pope. That's right. I'm a fucking poet. Puka Nakua gets a upgrade. We're gonna do deep threat, I think. We're gonna deep threat. That's what I think I want. Show me these upgrades. Plus one awareness, catching traffic, catching deep route and release. That's fine. That will play. Jermaine Hatcher. What if we do, what if we do, should I do run stopper or should I do power? Give him power. Let me see him try to break through the line a little bit. Maybe I'm reading this incorrectly, but that's what I want. Power move, strength and tackle all get plus one. God, his strength was already up there, wasn't it? It's now 90. Okay, that works, that's fine. That'll work. Byron Young, we're gonna do, I'm gonna go with your scheme fit, which is power rush. So you're gonna get three upgrades, awareness and strength plus one, and then plus two on your power moves. And then I don't care about Jason Taylor, but you know what, Antoine, maybe I do. He has hidden dev. He can't be good though, right? He's a 64. I don't even know what I want him to be. Hidden dev. He's got, he's got 86 speed. I, I don't really know what I'm hoping he would be. I'm just gonna, we're gonna do pass coverage. Hope for the best. Try to make him okay at something. Awareness tackle and then plus two zone coverage. Okay, that's fine. Oh man, all right, it's time. We're gonna see our new quarterback in action. We're gonna hopefully see him be fantastic. I, th I don't think we made a mistake, but it's time. It's game time. 49ers, Rams, let's do it. Okay, now it's game time, all right? Listen, my stick broke and it wouldn't let me move the damn thing down. So I had, it's a whole, you're gonna notice the lighting's different in my room. At least you should, because it's daytime. I don't know. Listen, don't yell at me. I know I've been taking too long to make these videos. I'm working on it, I promise. I had to go drive to get this stupid shit. Anyway, here we go, baby. Now with us using our new quarterback, okay? Not only are we throwing him in immediately, going, hey champ, good luck. Not only are we throwing him in against the 49ers and being like, hey champ, good luck times two. But we're making him play Monday night football, baby. Look at that damn thing. Bright lights. We're gonna learn a lot about Derek Wiggins today, all right? This is gonna be a soul searching time and we're gonna find that soul. Let's do it. SoFi Stadium, his home for, I hope a long ass time. This should be our like forever quarterback. He should be, I hope he is. If he's not, then I'm getting fired. The boys look excited. There's Derek Wiggins right now. We had to get him in for this promo hella quick. We were like, champ, hurry up. Take these, these little screenshots for the media. We gotta get it in quick. Look at him though, getting the team hyped up coming out here like he owns the stadium this is your home derek make it yours derek believe in yourself derek fuck you kyle shanahan you dumb bitch all right let's do this monday night football looks like we're gonna be kicking this thing off first which is fine if we can set the tone like by playing good defense i know sounds crazy that would just be absolutely huge let our young quarterback come out and go hey we had a stop and now it's your time to cook maybe I can't tackle anybody. This is a bad sign. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. And there is Brock Purdy. Monday Night Football, baby. He's got 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns, four picks. I am so down if Brock wants to add more picks to his season line. And honestly, the 49ers have such a fire team. You got to worry about Brandon Ayuk. You got to worry about Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. You got to worry about Brock Purdy being a bitch. What a great throw, stupid. You got a lot of stuff you got to worry about. And then you got George Kittle. I mean, then you got their defense, man. You got to worry about Nick Bosa coming and screaming in your little butthole. I don't know about you, but that doesn't excite me. All right, they're coming out in I form, right? I think is what that is. I'm learning stuff, chat. I'm learning. And that's going to be a good run. I thought we were about to do something. It looked like we were about to get, I think, Aaron Donald off the block and get him. We did not. Third and two, uh, Devontae Zimmerman. Honestly, you know what's crazy? Him and Ben Orchard have been really, really good for rookies, right? Really, really good. They could theoretically become the defensive rookie of the year, right? Theoretically. 
He dropped it. Brock Purdy eats shit. He's over two in the air. Kobe Durant. George Kittle, I think, was the intended target there. And he heard the footsteps of Kobe Durant. He went, shiver me timbers, bitch. And he dropped it. That's how it happened. I was there. You tell me I'm a liar? Fuck you. All right, here we go. All right, so if we can get to the 35, that's the goal here, right? Because they're going to kick this wrong. What, the 20? Get me to the 30. Get me to the 30 or the 35. You didn't quite get me there, but we're on the 27, and now it is time. The era of Rams football. Bah! Derek Wiggins. It's time for him to make his claim to fame. Now, you're going to notice this man has never thrown a football professionally. You're about to see the first. The first completion. The first, oh shit, I have to run with the football. The first handoff. The first touchdown. The first of so, so many picks. So many picks. An egregious amount of picks. You're going to see that all right now as Derek Wiggins' story unfolds. Here we go. First snap. There we go. The handoff. Oh, my God. Not a good run by me. I ran into the ass crack of the right tackle. And then I turned real quick, and I got too close to the left guard. I mean, the right guard. And I went into his ass crack. A lot of ass. We're going to come out with a staple. A staple of let's complete a pass. And that's going to be gun mesh. Although our tight end is super absolutely not getting out on his route. Did you notice that? And then I kind of panicked and I just chucked it. It was a bad throw. There's the first incompletion of our young career. Okay, this feels like man, right? This feels like man. It smells like man. It might be a man. And Derek's going to throw it hella far away. Oh my God, we're like Brock Purdy. We're 0 for 2. Not the best. Well, shit. That sucks. Chase Claypool is the intended target. And I'm going to be honest with you. He was open. We just had to hit him. Evans. He hit me. He hit me. Where's the call? He touched me. The kicker has been touched. What? Flag. Throw, throw the fucking flag. Throw the flag. He hit my kicker. All right. First and 10. Ben Orchard. Be my hero, daddy. Oh, he got picked up hella quick on that block, but it doesn't matter. Aaron Donald has the fattest of cocks, and he comes across the line to hit, make a tackle for loss, baby. Brock Purdy's going, I don't know who the hell wasn't watching that monster of a man but i'm all down for it here we go second and 22 i'm coming out here i'm ready i'm ready they're gonna make that catch and he's gonna go out of bounds he actually kind of came back third and six the first completion for brock purdy i'm gonna send heat but i'm gonna not let orchard actually blitz we know it's a pass and it's gonna be thrown away brock purdy's dog shit just a pile of dog shit this game this feels like a prime time game there's no, there's no successful drives in this bitch. Fourth and six, the 49ers have to punt again. And it wasn't necessary that we just played lockup defense. Now I did press, I did blitz. So Brock Purdy, and maybe I totally missed it. He might've been being screamed to somebody. Where was the block, brother? Number six, where the, what the fuck? Turn around and hit a bitch. Anyway, let's see if we can't get something. First and 10. We started with a run on first down last time. This time we're going play action. Oh, 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 Wiggins on the back foot to Cooper Cup. What a first completion. Cooper and the pooper. Let's go flex on a bitch. Let him know in this motherfucker. Cooper Cup touchdown. The first of Derek Wiggins' career. His first completion is a beautiful touchdown. Look at this right here. You're going to notice we started rolling out. You're getting screamed at back foot, and we unleashed the 95 throw power. We thought, look at this, Cooper Cup. He's got the sticky shit on his hands. And let me tell you something. He's fucking Terminator running, just chugging. Love to see it, baby. Big touchdown, and now momentum has swung into our favor. I don't know. We had a bad drive, and then we had a pretty bitch in one play drive with our new quarterback, 80 yards. I don't know. Kind of cool. So the coach is high-fiving everybody. I swear to God, if you don't high-five Derek Wiggins and you go, you can do it, champ. I'm going to punch you right in the kidneys. All right, here we go. We're going to kick this football off, and we're going to play great defense again. If we can keep making Brock Purdy dog shit, I want this win. Remember, we said if we could get it, if the last two weeks, like the last week and this week, if we could walk away with one win, that would be huge for our team. The schedule does get easier. First and 10. This feels like they're going to pass. It's not. It's going to be a run. And we're going to wrap this up. We read it really nice. Christian McCaffrey has a boo-boo. Oh, my God. Listen, when I tell my players to kill the other players, I don't. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He's got a bad ankle. He's going, ooh, Doc, that doesn't feel too good. Ooh. Listen, whatever. He's dead. Gone. And now it's Elijah Mitchell time. 
If Elijah Mitchell cooks my ass, I'm going to vomit. Aaron Donald with a hit from behind. There's a flag. Where? Holding. Oh, well, butter this cucumber, I say. Second and 20 or third and 10? I'm going to push him back. We're going to redo second down, even though we stopped him at the line. A 10-yard pass, much easier. If we, I don't know. I'm believing in the defense here. And if we push him back, this feels like the move, right? Feels like the move. We're coming out in man. They're going to pass. Of course they are. I'm going to tell you what. Brock Purdy had, I think, I want to say it was a wheel route by the running back. Somebody on the right side of the screen was so passionately open. And I know what's going to happen now. It's third and 20. I know what's going to happen now. YouTube, the comment section, they're going to be like, Dimu, if you saw that, why the fuck don't you see that when you're controlling them? And to that, I say, shut up. I'll take no further questions at this time. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. I did not want to do this play call, but it works. It's a, it, a, a th third and 20 screen, and he can't get the football off. Brock Purdy looking like ass. And they're going to have to punt again from the 50. Now, let me do this all in real time with no cuts here. Options, settings, game options. It's still all Madden. Whenever something starts to go right for me, people are like, hey, did Dimu change the settings? No, bitch. I'm struggle busting my whole life out here. Do I, can I get this to the, can I get a block? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm gonna come. Let's go, baby, to the 49. And here comes the man, Derek Wiggins. He strikes fear in a bitch's face when people say his name. I don't know. We're working on it. We're working on it, okay? First and 10 play action worked out pretty good last time. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. We're rolling out and I'm gonna throw a pick. <laughs> well, I told you, I was, you were gonna see the first of many, the first touchdown, the first reception, the first pick. And I'm gonna be honest with you, if I didn't bullet throw that and I just lobbed it, we were gonna get over his head every day. Fred Warner reads that one. Super easy. I, I had, I wanna say it's Puka Nakua behind him. If I just, if I just lobbed it, let it go where I wanted it to, not try to just hit him immediately, I got excited, okay? The first pick of his young career, and it finally happened. Fred Warner picked him off. First and 10 for the 49ers. They're gonna try to run this thing, and they're going to run it. Elijah Mitchell gains eight yards on his first official carry. Second and two. I cannot let Elijah Mitchell cook me. Please, dear Lord, do not let Elijah Mitchell cook me. Here we go. Second and two, Brock Purdy. First time they've had the ball. Oh, God. Oh, God. We tripped him. What the fuck? Yo, Brock Purdy sucks. In the game. In the game. He sucks, dude. I don't know what the fuck that was. Third and five. I, it was like a read option, and we tackled the running back, and Brock Purdy just tripped over us. All right. Sure, man. I don't, I don't know, brother. We're ready for a pass. We're ready for a pass. It's a quick pass, and it's going to be caught, and that'll be the first first down I think the 49ers have uh, achieved as Brock Purdy's now two for seven. His 12-yard reception to uh, George Kittle. That was Benjamin St. Juiced on the tackle. First and 10, coming out and gun, and it's going to be a run. It's going to be a good run, too, I think. We got to get out here. Got to hit him. Nope. Well, McCaffrey's back, by the way, and he's going to get him pretty much to a first down. I think it might be a yard or two shy. It's 68 yards last week. We, we It took so long for them to show. Oops. Uh, it took them so long to show what he had done for them last week because he had been out with the injury to start this one. Second and one. It's got to be a run. Got to be a run. It's not a run. It's play action, and it's so absolutely open. And I tried to take out Brandon Ayuk's legs and it did not work. Bad defense all around. We had him at a third and five. We needed to lock that up and then we just crumbled. Brandon Ayuk will get the touchdown. It's a tie game now. So an invaluable lesson that Derek Wiggins, the quarterback, is learning. He's only 22. He's learning that, hey, his actions have consequences, you son of a bitch. And when you throw picks, keep in mind I don't exist in this universe, you piece of shit. All right, listen, I know YouTube comments. Like, well, damn it, you threw it. No. Shut up. Derek Wiggins threw that pick, and now he has to pay the price. Momentum's still on our side, though. So we do have that going for us. The kick, Cavante Turpin. Can I do something? The answer is no. To the 20, Derek Wiggins, it is your time. Let's do this. Fred Warner has his X Factor activated. That's not something I like to see. We're going to start with a run, and we're going to go away from him. And uh, number 69 is the most useless piece of shit 
and honestly, I want to gut him like a fucking fish now. Because let me tell you something. Uh, where, what the fuck was the mentality here to just block zero people, right? He's on this and he's like, oh, I should go to the next level. He's staring at the dude. He knows he has to go block 41. Just refuses, refuses to step up and initiate. And honestly, it doesn't even look like he ever put hands on him. He was like, oh, you want to fuck my quarterback? Here you go, dog. Open the door for us is what he did. I say quarterback, I meant running back, whatever. Second and 11, Derek Wiggins gonna have to throw the football again. See what we can do. Wiggins dropping back. Right there, Cooper Cup, Cooper Cup, let's go, baby. Honestly, we got mad bumped on our route. And I feel like it was deep enough that that should have been illegal contact, but we end up threading the needle where we need it and it works. That's fine, we'll take that all day. Here we go. We're gonna run this football and we're gonna try to get away. Kyron Williams will turn that into two yards. Had to run a lot for just two yards, to be honest. I saw Fred Warner start to come down and break, uh, break off the, uh, the block. I wanted nothing to do with that. Second and eight, some more play action. I don't like it, get rid of the football. Third and eight, son of a bitch. Third and eight, I need Fred Warner stuff to go away. I need it to go away. Lead it down, chuck it, chuck it high, you can do it. Stick a needle in your eye. Fourth and eight, we're gonna have to punt. One on one, Pope had him beat. I thought, I thought we could do it, man. Isn't Fred Warner a, a linebacker? I thought linebackers didn't jump in Madden. That's what everybody tells me. And he jumped. And not a, we can't tackle anybody. I think that dude broke seven tackles on the return. Brock Purdy gonna start on the 27. Here we go, first and 10. It's gonna be a handoff and they're gonna go wide. We do not set the edge. I'm gonna have to come over here and help tackle him from the other side of the field. Elijah Mitchell, two carries, 19 yards. I mean, that's a first down right there. We did not set the edge. First and 10 for uh, the 49ers on the 38 yard line. Play action. It's gonna go to the running back and he just runs it straight out. He got to the line of scrimmage, did nothing. Now, theoretically in man coverage, that's who I was supposed to cover there was Zimmerman. I'm sorry, with Orchard I think is who I was using. Um, what I noticed was there was a, a cross, a crosser coming and he, he had beat the defender. So I tried to go back and cover that. It ended up working. So into the first quarter here, it's gonna be second and 10 for the 49ers. It's tied. Can we just, I don't know, wake up and do something? I don't know. Second and 10. I feel like this is a pass. I feel, yeah, it is a pass. It is, it is, it is, it is. And we almost maybe could have picked it. A little wild throw there in the, in the direction of Caillou Blue Kelly, who I'll be honest, has started to look kind of good lately. He's kind of been involved in plays. He's had an interception or two. He's definitely looked uh, more reliable, which is nice. Somebody hit this motherfucker or just give me the football. Let's go. That's a huge pick. And I want to say that's going to be Mr. Mr. Uh, Durant or is that yeast? I can't. I think it's Durant. Kobe Durant. Brock Purdy had a ton of time in the pocket, just chucks it up. And we're going to take it to the 27. That is monstrous. By the way, that was not Kobe Durant. It was Russ yeast. I learned. Uh oh. All right. And I'm glad that we blocked that. I'm glad we stood next to Nick Bosa and we personally held his hand, guided him straight to Kyron Williams. And we said, uh, is this what you ordered on the meal, sir? Would you like to fuck this man? And that's, they said, yes. They said, absolutely. They, ooh, indubitably were the words that Nick Bosa dropped. And now there's two fucking X factors. I don't want to run this football now. Second and 13. We're going to chuck this thing low and we're going to get some yards here. It's going to be uh, our boy, Pukunakua making it third and four, which is manageable. We do need to get a hundred yards for Pukunakua. Keep that in mind. He was feeling very sad. He cried. He said, ooh, daddy, I'm sad. Give me football. Even though we've been giving him the damn football, little whiny ass bitch. Third and four. Here we go, Wiggins. Where the fuck did I throw that? Fourth and four. Do I take the field goal and take the guaranteed points? I think I do. Our defense is actually like playing. Take guaranteed points. Take guaranteed points. Now keep in mind, Wiggins is technically a lower overall than Tyler Huntley. We're playing for the fact that he could have, he's 22, okay? We know he at least has Stark. He's got hidden development. We don't know what that is though. Um, we're playing for him to be better. He's going to have the ups, the downs, some bad throws. We're looking to develop him, okay? So, I mean, listen, is he gonna come out and be the king right off the rip? I don't know. His first completion was the 80 yard touchdown bomb, but there's a lot to like. 
he has the throw power if we could just develop some of that accuracy and so uh, you know I, I think he can be pretty damn good I don't know why I picked this play that has Aaron Donald dropping back in the coverage but I damn did and I, I don't know how to change stuff enough to where I'm gonna be smart enough to change it so luckily it doesn't bite us in the ass McCaffrey runs and he gets a yard one singular yard it's second and nine I want to say this is a pass second and nine a hundred percent right it is not and it's actually a run that I'm gonna let them gain too many yards on third and three I thought for sure I could just smell them having having the three I think I had three wide receivers on the right just coming across third and three it's gonna be a quick throw and it's knocked out as the ball is touching the receiver's hands I don't know who that target was I didn't quite see it but this is terrific defense here I don't know what the fuck's happening I'm inside Brock Purdy the ball all right we got we got cast for the fucking friendly ghost out here it was going to Roberts who apparently is in and out of reality got fucking Marvel happening out here Dr. Strange is fucking pulling him away but as you can see his ghost drops the football on contact and the 49ers will punt boy this is a prime time game just two teams playing like shit I feel like this is how Thursday night Monday night football you're always like where's the fucking offense I'll tell you it could be right there if uh if if somebody wanted to get a block maybe we could try to do something here first and ten two x factors on the right side of the field Jesus God all right second and 11 we cannot get a fucking yard with Kyron Williams and I don't really blame Kyron Williams maybe I should maybe you're looking at it going wow Kyron's playing like shit the run is just not being effective they are in literally my anus second and 11 play action Pope the tight end, the rookie tight end for the rookie quarterback. Oh my God. Let's go, baby. This, I do kind of want to run the football. I'm going to run the football. I don't see the X factors active. F it. Go get a block for once. God, we just, I mean, we don't want to go to the next level and get a block. We literally, like, it's almost like we're allergic to it because we're set up there to where the guard peels off and is able to go get, or, I mean, the tackle is able to peel off and move up to the next level. And they just don't. He just refuses. He's like, I don't know, man. Who am I supposed to touch? I don't know. I'm scared. I'm terrified. Mommy, hold me. Second and 10. Wiggins, what can we do? We can chuck that thing to Cooper effing cup. Put it in the hands of Mr. Reliable. Puka Nakua might not be getting his yards today. Cooper Cup has just been open enough. That was a dangerous throw. I'm aware. But also, I just trust his hands. He's got hands, daddy. First and 10. Oh, get rid of it. Thank you. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I looked out at a couple different routes, didn't like what I saw, just got rid of it quickly. Oliver putting pressure in my ass. I don't know if I like this either, but second and 10, we're gonna try play action. Did not get anybody to bite. Cooper Cup, he was, he was there. I don't know why he didn't even put hands on it. Looked like I almost threw another pick there. Comes out of the hands, third and 10. I thought I got him in front and everything. I kinda, I kinda liked what I saw, to be honest with you. I thought I had maybe done something. Got in front of him, Cooper Cup. I'm gonna put Pope on a streak here, just see what's up right there you got to catch that inbounds oh my god the ball was thrown a little wide but it's cooper cup mr reliable holy shit he kind of bailed me out there i'm not even gonna front because that ball was definitely thrown way too far way too far here we go first and 10 and i'm gonna get absolutely dicked in the mouth all right <laughs> seven carries negative two yards i'm gonna see if i can't get woody some opportunities um not on this play though not on this play here we go wiggins he was supposed to, he was supposed to have a man running a slant and he didn't and he's gonna throw a pick i i'm literally looking at the fucking play art that has the dude the wide receiver on the left supposed to run a fucking slant and i'm like oh he's about to beat it and then he just stops. He stops in the middle of the fucking route because Madden's fucking dumb as shit. I looked at the play art. I know exactly that this stupid fuck right here, Puka Nakua, is supposed to do this shit. It didn't stop him here. He's supposed to keep fucking going. And he just stops. He stop. What the fuck is this truffle shuffle shit? I'm so mad. I'm angry. I'm angry. And I feel like I'm allowed to be. We are ready to stop a run. Yes, we are. But we're not going to fucking do it. And McCaffrey's going to run. No, that's Elijah fucking Mitchell. It's Elijah Mitchell. First and 10. That throw beautifully caught. We do knock him down, though. It's second and nine. Oh, God. 
Please get to Brock Purdy and eat his ass. No, at least tackle him. Thank you. Third and nine. They tried to run hurry up offense on me, and I'm going to be honest with you. It shook me. I was scared. I, I shivered me timbers. Don't let him complete this pass. Jump and touch it, you stupid piece of shit. I'm hitting the fucking square. That's supposed to be the slap it. I got fucking Fred Warner who turns into fucking Iron Man and turns the, the fucking jets in his shoes on to jump. But I got these dipshits that have no fucking clue how to jump. Thank God he dropped it. Holy shit. It's a pass every day of the week. It's a pass every day of the week. We know it. And somehow they still get a first down. Holy shit. First and goal. I need Purdy to fuck up. I need Purdy to fuck up. That's it's flawless. Never mind. He's just beautiful. George Kittle touchdown. We are now losing this football game right before the half. There's like three seconds. No, there's 42 seconds. 42 seconds. We have all of our timeouts. What are the odds that we can do something fantastic with our new quarterback? I have no idea. We will be airing this bitch out and we are going to see what the fuck Derek Wiggins is made of. I hope they kick it to the end zone so I don't have to run it back and kill any time. Let's see where the kick goes. Bam. I'm not touching that. Let it let it fall. Don't care. All right. Rams football. Bah! Cooper Cup has 134 yards a day. I'll tell you, if I can get Pope to be open on this out route to him go out of bounds, that would be effing phenomenal. Effing phenomenal phenomenal it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen it's almost a pick i tried to pivot i saw i saw the defender behind him i saw one in front of him too and it just screamed i'm gonna throw a pick before everybody yells at me and tells me how bad i am at this video game like i don't already know this second and 10 36 seconds i'm staying in the pocket staying in the pocket puka nakua was the intended target 32 seconds third and 10 give me something give me that's a pick what am I fucking doing? I'm, I'm, I'm over here stressing now because there's so much stupid shit happening and it's causing me to try to freak out and panic and I'm a dumb bitch is what the fuck I am. I used like 10 seconds that drive. I am disgusted and the 49ers are definitely going to do something here. They're definitely going to. They're on the 30, 22 seconds. I, I just, I'm upset. I'm angry. Thinking about the stupid ass. I, like, here's the thing. The way my brain works is if I see a route that I think's open, right? I lock in on it. I'm like, oh, that's going to be open. And then so like if their route is supposed to take them fucking like that and then they go eh, and they just stop. I'm like, what the fuck? And I've been ready to throw that. I've been locked in. On, I'm like, that's going to get open the way this is looking. He's in his, he's going to be open and I'm starting to panic. Look at other shit. Just how you know, just it's what it is. I panic. First and 10. It's going to be thrown and it's going to be dropped. Let's go. Thank God. Purdy is nine for 19. Somehow Madden is trying so hard, at least at Brock Purdy, to let me be in the game in some ways, but others they're not. Like, it wants me to run dime fucking cover three. Is this what I should be running? I don't know. We're going to find out. Good luck, everybody. Second and 10. Is this a run? And it show is. And he's going to get through. Thank God we stopped him. Third and two. They use their second timeout. 13 seconds left. It's got to be a pass, right? You're going to pass it. You're going to pass it all day trying to, trying to get something open. Third and two. There's a flag. Is that a false start? Holy shit. I could not tell you the last time I saw a false start in this, in, in our franchise series. I could not begin to tell you when the last time I saw that shit was. They got to be running it now. And here's the run. Holy shit. He makes so many good moves. There's a timeout. Eight seconds. I got the first down. We have one down lineman. That's probably a bad idea now that I'm saying that out loud. Never mind. They are throwing it. And he will throw it away. Four seconds, second and 10. I need Brock Purdy to really be stupid here. We're playing cover four deep bullshit. He's letting it air out and he's gonna get his man. Holy shit. What if he actually scored? All right, that's the end of the time. I don't know how that play before the end of the quarter solidified their momentum to go up another level, but it did. Half time, we're not gonna run the football. We're gonna play blitz counter. Try to give us more time in the pocket. Running is not worth it. We just literally cannot run the football. We have negative rushing yards. And we're going to try to take away the def the short pass from Brock Purdy. Technically, we've been theoretically kind of good at that. We do get the football here. It's 14 to 10. So it's not like it's 14 to 7. Theoretically, we get it. I mean, shit, we can get a touchdown here and bam. You know, we're cooking again. Turpin will take that. And we are going to make our drive start at the 25. Let's do this. First and 10. First and 10. Where in the fuck is that ball going? 
Brother, I threw it to B. I swear to God. Am I having a stroke? Was that on Chase Claypool coming across? Where did that ball go? Did I fuck something? Am I stupid? Am I having a stroke? I don't even know, brother. I might need to go to the doctor. You never know. Second and 10. Wiggins. Do something for me. Do something for me right there. Cooper Cup. He held on to it. Thank God. First down. I am 7 for 20 and 182 yards. I think 150 of them have gone to Cooper Cup. I don't even really feel like a quarterback's been necessarily bad. There's some moments where you're like, wow, that accuracy really screwed me or, or whatever. But, God, we cannot run the football. We cannot. And now Ladarius Woody, who we put in, is, I, I guess, dead. He didn't even, what the hell was that? He didn't even move. Oh, he's alive. They showed him on the ground and he looked like a petrified tree trunk. He looked dead. Second and 11. Pope. Thank God he's huge because that ball was not thrown well. And now we have another injury. It's an offensive lineman and Kevin Dotson. He's grabbing his armpit and he's going owie. And then whatever the shit this is. Yeah, can you... All right, I guess he's going to be fine. He looks okay. Dislocated shoulder for uh, Ladarius Woody. He's gone. Zach Evans is back. I know I haven't been able to run, but I'm going to try to run. I can't just rely on Wiggins being like, hey, good luck. Chuck the ball. Oh my God. Kyron Williams actually got yards at second and five. Eight carries, we have three yards to show for it. Honestly, I sound the alarm, tell the church bell, all right? Ding dong, ding dong, the fucking witch is dead. Second and five, please, please. All right, I, I had to wait extra long to make sure the slant didn't stop. Cooper Cup was my target there. Dotson's coming back, come on, baby. Third and five, how do we do this? We're gonna try a screen, this might work. Oh, Jesus. I didn't really think that we were going to do the screen right at the X-Factored uh, Nick Bosa, though. But whatever. He's taken out of the play. This is going to work. Oh, my God. Kyron Williams first down. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to squirt is what I'm going to do. First and 10. We got Zach Evans in the backfield, I believe. First and 10. We're going to hand that ball off to him. We got a block and we're going to actually gain three yards. So good for Zach Evans. He'll he'll get three yards. We'll take that. Second and seven. Play action. I don't... Okay. All right. All right. That sucked. But all right. We tried. A for effort. Third and seven. Please hit Roman Pope. Oh, my God. He did. That's a touchdown. Oh, my God. That looked beautiful. It looked beautiful off the rip, and everything just developed the way I needed it. Beautifully placed ball. Second touchdown for our new quarterback. And this one goes to Roman Pope, the rookie tight end. That's huge. We needed that in such a bad way, brother. It is now 17 to 14. Can we play defense? That's the real question. Oh my God, internet. I have to show you something real quick. Trevor, internet. My, ed my editor's name is Trevor, by the way. But here we go. I just realized my controller had a plasticky thing on it. You know, like when you get something new and you can peel the plastic off and it's, it's orgasmic is what it is. All right, leave a like on the video for that orgasmic touch. I don't, shut up. All right, back to this. Okay, so this is kind of an odd thing that's happened here, but I have had the damnedest of time with this footage. Now, let me explain. You're watching this high octane football game with our brand new quarterback. This is all the footage I could restore. The entire footage was corrupted, so you're lucky you got this far. Now, what I'm gonna, this is the weirdest way to do it, but I feel like there's the only, this is the only way to do it is, we lost here is the final score the editor has enough footage to piece that in here and here is Derek wiggins final line yeah it was kind of bad oops so you don't have to see the downfall here it got ugly the footage got absolutely destroyed and i want to cry now i have to go to a wedding so i gotta go get dressed and look like a normal human being so I'm sorry. I love you. Leave a like on the video for more Rams franchise. This won't happen again, I hope. And uh, yeah, long live Derek Wiggins. His long career started in one of the most rocky ways possible. Smile. Bye.